Good happy Monday morning, February 14, 2022. I'm Riley King. Welcome to your Monday morning news update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's get started right now. First up, let's begin with some local news. Man hurt after flipping ATV. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Much a Manchester man is recovering tonight after he rolled his ATV down an embankment this afternoon. 67-year-old Donald Smagula was on his way to go ice fishing and had a couple juvenile passengers in the ATV with him. Officers say he wasn't able to make a turn when the vehicle flipped. The young passengers were wearing safety equipment and were not hurt. Fish and Game are reminding people to be careful on the trails as the temperature starts to change. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Manchester Bars busy during Sunday's big game. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. All right, so cordless headphones. You can watch movies through your phone. And y'all gotta let your cars. No Patriots, no Tom Brady, no problem. Oh, of course, yeah. Um, I'm hoping for the Bengals to win this. New Hampshire football fans back out in full force this year. Some cheering on new teams, others finding different ways to keep the game interesting. I got my, my Super Bowl squares over here, all my prop bets over here. A decent crowd at Billy's Sports Bar in Manchester Sunday night, but managers say the takeout orders are what kept them the busiest. Their big seller chicken wings so you got to get the double dip wings with a side of buffalo sauce we do a guess the wing contest every year we guess how many wings we're going to sell and the winner gets a prize (laughs) manager brooke billings tells news nine she's expecting to sell over 1200 wings for the big game alone and cold beer always a popular add-on lots of generous people very thankful while some football fans had to change up their plans a little bit this year most still found ways to make it memorable it's kind of an annual tradition sometimes we'll go out to vegas and do it but you know with everything the way it is we stayed local so but yeah it's a ton of fun it's even if you don't have a team in it like the pats like there's still a, a way to root for it and have fun okay and there you go on that video and that report and now let's take a look at some national news in national news um Threat of Russian invasion of Ukraine intensifies. Let's take a listen to that video from ABC News. We begin tonight with the breaking news in the crisis in Ukraine and the intensifying threat of invasion. One U.S. official says Russian action could come at any time. After speaking with the president of Ukraine today, President Biden said the U.S. would respond swiftly and decisively if Russia attacks. An estimated 130,000 Russian troops are now on Ukraine's border. These forces are conducting live exercises with allies in Belarus. All this is additional U.S. troops. Members of the 82nd Airborne arrived today in Poland Poland to support NATO allies in the region. And while Ukraine's airspace does remain open, the country is advising airlines to avoid flying over parts of the Black Sea region. ABC's senior foreign correspondent Ian Panels on the ground in Ukraine and leads us off tonight. Tonight, with Russia performing massive military drills near Ukraine's borders, aviation officials in Ukraine warning airlines not to fly over part of the Black Sea where the Russian Navy is conducting war games. While Ukrainian commercial airspace remains open, Dutch airline KLM suspending flights into the country, Lufthansa considering the same. President Biden today speaking by phone with Ukrainian President Zelensky, making it clear the U.S. and its allies will respond swiftly and decisively if Russia invades. Zelensky asking the U.S. for even more military and financial support, even inviting Biden to visit the country. That call coming 24 hours after President Biden's high-stakes call with Vladimir Putin warning a Russian attack would result in swift and severe costs. But despite the ongoing diplomacy, no apparent progress. Certainly not a sign that things are moving in the, in the right direction. 
There's been a full-on diplomatic blitz this weekend. French President Macron speaking with Putin Saturday, where he again denied Russian forces intend to invade. And German Chancellor Scholz heading to Kiev tomorrow and then Moscow. Despite Russia's staunch denial that they're planning to attack, U.S. officials sticking to their dire warnings. The way they have maneuvered things in place makes it a distinct possibility that there will be major military action very soon. U.S. officials saying in just the last 10 days, Russia accelerated the buildup of its forces, moving closer to Ukraine's border. Putin now has an estimated 130,000 troops amassed on three sides of the country. And the West believes it could launch an assault very rapidly. It's likely to begin with a significant barrage of missiles uh, and bomb attacks. It would then be followed by an onslaught of a ground force moving across the Ukrainian frontier. The U.S. tonight again repeating warnings that a fake attack could be used to launch an invasion. No one should be surprised if Russia instigates a provocation or incident which it then uses to justify military action it had planned all along. Analysts say the U.S. releasing intelligence on Putin's possible plans is part of a strategy. They're trying to preempt any kind of fabricated excuse that Mr. Putin would have to invade Ukraine. Life for most Ukrainians looks pretty normal on the streets. Families are out, people are going to restaurants and cafes and shopping. There is no sense of panic here, but people are certainly planning and preparing in case the worst happens. But despite the feeling on the ground, the State Department taking no chances, ordering all U.S. citizens to get out of Kiev while they still can. Canada closing its embassy in Kiev and Australia today, joining dozens of nations urging citizens to leave. The State Department concerned they may not be able to evacuate Americans in the event of military action. Ian Panel joins us now from Ukraine tonight. And Ian, what more are you learning about that crucial call between President Biden and the President of Ukraine? Yeah, interesting. I mean, uh, Vladimir Zelensky thanked Joe Biden for his support, but he also invited him to visit Ukraine, saying that he's convinced that if he arrived in Kiev in the coming days, it would be crucial to help stabilize the situation, send a powerful signal, and also help towards de-escalation. I think it's highly unlikely to happen, but it shows you the mood in the Ukrainian presidential palace tonight. Lindsay? Ian Panel, thanks so much. Okay, and there you go on. Hi that everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Th that report. And let's go to some entertainment news. In entertainment news, ASAP Rocky enjoying everything about Rihanna's pregnancy exclusive. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. Check out this verbo. Oh, man. Michael, they're your cousins. ASAP, how are you? Alright, how about yourself? I'm good. I think I'm okay. All right. but you, you seem to be doing alright. Well, right alright. Congratulations. Thank you. What are you enjoying about this journey with three right now? Everything about it. I'm loving it. Taking care of our girl? Absolutely. Holding that umbrella for her. You remember that corny joke of mine from the... Yo, ASAP, did you let Bree stand under your umbrella tonight? <laughs> you got to start with that. That's an ongoing joke. You got to no. retire that one. Oh, we're so happy for it. But what are you looking forward to as you move into a new chapter of your life, ASAP? I'm just excited for what I don't know yet, you know? Everything is new to me, so... You know, I'm, I'm excited. How are you keeping track of the milestones as the two of you go through this journey together? I mean, I'm just living. Through and song? I'm living. We're what just you, living life. I want you two to collaborate on some new music, maybe even some lullabies. I told Bree, I said, girl, drop us a lullaby or something. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Thank you, though. And tonight we are celebrating Fenty, of course. What is it about Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin that you feel like is just really knocking it out of the park right now because it resonates with so many people look at it i mean it speaks for itself right? exactly there you go. okay and there you go on that video and that report and let's switch some gears and let's go into some sports news in your sports news the Boston Celtics had a game yesterday in the final score of that game. Boston Celtics, 105, and Atlanta, 
Atlanta Hawks, 95. The Boston Celtics won their game yesterday. Congratulations, Boston Celtics. And also, as you all know, the big Super Bowl was last night. And the final score of that game for the Super Bowl, LA Rams, 23, and Cincinnati Bengals, 20. The Los Angeles Rams won the game. Congratulations to Los Angeles Rams. And that does it for your morning news update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Thank you for tuning in and listening. Have a great day, everyone, and see you back here later on today for another news update. Goodbye.